what are you doing here today? Well, I'm here with a few of my constituents, other zombies, and we are supporting Senate Bill 6027. Senate Bill 6027 aims to encourage and increase the Washington State motion picture and television industry by increasing the tax credit available to certain motion picture activities. What's your experience been like so far in Seattle Film? As a cinematographer, there's almost nowhere I can imagine that's better to shoot. Even just the variance of location, you know, you have downtown Seattle, which feels like a very you know, heavy, big city type feel, and you can, you know, almost emulate areas of New York, but you can also drive five minutes and be in, you know, like the lake areas, and, you know, it's much more sort of country and beautiful, and you can drive an hour or two outside of town, and you're in the desert, and you're in like these abandoned mining towns and logging towns, and there's just such a breadth of stuff to shoot. It's really amazing. It's a beautiful place to shoot. I'm surprised more movies don't come in here. And in fact, the reason a lot of them aren't coming into Washington is because we don't have a really good incentive program yet. What do you think is the, going to be the most positive thing about passing this bill? Well, we could have you know multiple films. Like last year we had two projects, one TV show and one film, and that, that used up the entire incentive. So we can, can double the incentive or triple the incentive. Um, there's a lot more like you know really good paying work. A lot of the, the very independent stuff it pays very low, and um, they don't pay your taxes, they don't pay for health insurance. So being able to work on some of the bigger projects and you know with benefits and uh, you know a fair kind of working class wage. Yeah, I think that's huge. Without the incentive, it's just really hard to compete uh, with other states that have one. When I moved here, it was right at the, at the end of Northern Exposure. So it was that time, that golden time in Seattle when there was an, so much work. And I, I thought to myself, all right, I can move here and be happy um, being an actor and live in this beautiful place. And then. Um, I had babies and I came back, hey, I'm ready to work and all the work left to Canada. Currently, like we all know, there's a lot of films that say there's Seattle or Washington, but they're actually not filmed there. So we'd like to bring them here. And uh, I just think it would increase everything, increasing funds, increasing more jobs, uh, increasing revenue for restaurants. I mean, it, it helps everything if we have film industry here. We see a lot of people with traditional kind of filmmaker backgrounds now making content for the web and going into things like video games and interactive comic books. We lost over 55 million to 100 million in revenue that would have come into the state of Washington, but they couldn't film here, no incentives. Without incentives, people don't want to come here. With each dollar invested in film production in Washington state, our economy earns $10 back in economic benefits and jobs. It's obviously very, very important to have a, a viable and active film industry, build careers, build livable jobs, build careers that people gain real satisfaction out of, and uh, a place where they can stay uh, stay in the state of Washington and be where they want to live. What do you think it's going to take to convince the legislators that we need to make our incentive program better? I think we need to emphasize jobs for one thing. We can even demonstrate how that's worked for New Mexico or Oregon and various other places that have been pushing up their incentive program. It just turns us into like an Austin, where there's an actual film community there of people who are well known, who, who stay in their community, and go to Hollywood and bring Hollywood to them in the best possible way. And I think that's what we'd like to do here in Washington State. Right now, we have a cap of 3.5 million. And so this incentive, we're working to double that, correct? It'll double that. It will uh, be an increase when it passes. Um, 1.5 million a year. We rather be in parity with Oregon, which is 10 million. But this is okay. This we, we do so much with the little we have right now. And we're able to shoot um, the Z Nation in Spokane, which is amazing. That with our little incentive, we can actually have a series. Have you seen? There's this television show called Z Nation. Z, Z Nation. I think it's called Z Nation. Like the nation, like the nation, but it's the nation, and there's a lot of zombies working on that show. Filmed entirely in Washington State, Z Nation is an hour long apocalyptic zombie thriller in its second season on sci fi. With our active incentive, Z Nation is the only series able to film here. As a casting person on Z Nation, you know, we look at actors from all over the country. Um, we found some of the best talent for the show right here in Eastern Washington. So it's given Washington actors a real opportunity to compete with some of these big roles with um, actors from LA and New York. Why do you support it? Well, I support it because I think zombies need work too. And I think that when our community, the film, television, commercial community is supported by 
the government and when we get these wonderful tax incentives that encourage creativity and create jobs and stimulate our economy, I think everybody wins. Do you want to elaborate on that at all? Yeah, I mean, I think the it, it's like Tim said, the, the opportunity to bring in greater number of productions will allow the film community and the television community here in Seattle to be able to work more often, you know, and that's essentially what it comes down to. More incentive dollars equals more work for us. This, this incentive does two things. One is it attracts fully funded projects from out of state. But another thing that people don't talk about as much is it takes projects that grow up here, that start here, that use a lot of, a lot of local talent and it gives them that last little piece they need. Those are the films that turn into the career makers for people like Megan Griffiths, make, uh, for people like Lynn Shelton, for people like, like Lacey Levitt, hopefully for me, hopefully for you. So we have such a wealth uh, here that I'd really love to see get to do what it wants to do. There is this incredible community here. All of the people that I've met are really excited about making film. People do it because they love it. They're really good at it and there's a really exciting scene and it's aimed to let all of that talent move to other places because there isn't enough opportunity here. The bill that we're hoping is going to get passed will at least keep Seattle on the map as a place, as a destination for film and I think that that's completely important because it supports the local community. It keeps people excited. It keeps people doing what they want to do. We need to support and hire our own talented film professionals in our own state. This allows these individuals to stay and thrive here, contributing to communities all over and enhancing the vitality of living and working in Washington State.